The Nut Job. It's one of those movies that I briefly remember watching as a kid, but like I could never remember if it was good or not. But I had nuts, it was funny. It had nuts. Um, it had nuts. It's been over five years since I last watched this movie, so after finally rewatching this critically acclaimed masterpiece, what do I think of it now? We start off with the main character of the movie, who is a squirrel voiced by Will Arnett for some reason. This is me, the handsome one. I got no problem with my feathered friends. In fact, I get a real kick out of him. So we get this opening dialogue about the squirrel and he opens up to say this. At the end of the day, I'm just like all you fine people. I'm no hero. I'm just a squirrel trying to get a nut. <laughs> yeah, aren't we all? So then he talks about his buddy who can't speak English and can't even speak at all. But he has this amazing original name of Buddy. <laughs> yeah, I bet it took him ages to come up with that one. They play this title card and then we get a huge establishing shot of this giant oak tree with this raccoon called... Uh... Norvius, which when that is googled, comes up with his stomach and diarrhea bug. So yes, this movie has the worst character names of all time. We're at starvation levels! We're all gonna die! So the main problem of this movie is the animals in the park are all out of food. They're hungry. Then the bird tweets and says that they found a nut cart which has the food they need for the winter. So the raccoon calls upon... Andy! I'm on my way. Grayson is going with you. Holly! Grayson is the squirrel who makes a mouse just keel back and die. But also, he's a huge numpty. He is the most stupid, annoying character in this whole nut job cinematic universe. Chicks dig the tail. Uh. So the raccoon warns Andy and Grayson about the main character Surly because he is a huge nutcase. Ha! <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be a lot of nut jokes in this video. But before all the shebang happens, the worker at the nut job nods his head to this person sitting on this park bench who is like clearly spying on people with his camera. Like, come on. Hey, mister! I want some nuts. Now, you know how I said Grayson is the most annoying character in the NJCU? Nut job cinematic universe. Look it up. Well, I lied because. <laughs> This girl is literally crazy. She's the hidden antagonist of this movie. She is insane. Sign says you're open. Burn robber. See? See what I mean? Did you hear me? <laughs> So then we see our main fellas, Surly and Buddy, who are planning to steal all these delicious nuts. Don't know why I said it like but that. But then they spot Andy and Grayson, who are also trying to steal the nuts. And Grayson is being Grayson. You stay here. Honestly, woman! So Andy climbs up the tree and scares Surly, who has Buddy in a bucket that he was lowering down to get the nuts from the nut cart. And Andy is trying to work out a deal to split the nuts evenly, like a 50-50 split. Looking out for number one. I suggest you do the same if you want to survive. I feel sorry for you, Surly. Uh -huh. Before Grayson rudely interrupted, I was gonna say that Surly doesn't like the park. He's very stubborn, he doesn't want to give any nuts to anyone else. He doesn't want to work together with anyone. Even though, you know, he's working with Buddy, but whatever. This little girl might be exaggerating a little bit. I am not! <laughs> oh yeah, so the girl gets the police officers to, I don't know, arrest the nutcut guy, but then also the girl has this pug with her that we'll talk about later. Surly and Buddy get the nuts, but then... No, great. The dog attacks Surly and Buddy and ends up hitting the nut cart back. And this is where the movie really gets nuts. <laughs> you guys don't like my nut jokes? I guess I'm just a corny. <laughs> Excuse me? Did Buddy just talk? <laughs> kind of. It was more of a... <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. One more time. <laughs> oh, Did I save the day? Oh my god, I hate Grayson. Ah, uh, he's just so fu- These nuts are mine! Let's negotiate, we can share it with the park. 100 me, zero for you. So the cart blasts off again, but Surly ties the bag of nuts to himself, and then the cart keeps going, but Surly jumps off, and then the cart goes into the worst place the cart could have ever gone into, the oak tree. Her food! Finally did! Finally! Wait, what's that? Oh, never fear! <sighs> no!
Anyways, the raccoon wants to banish Surly from the park. But that will only happen if there's a unanimous decision. Why do I care about this movie now? Well, I don't know. So everyone in the park raises their hand to banish Surly, except for Andy, but then... But that squirrel Andy do what is right. Oh no, bro. Damn, but it's fine because Buddy still hasn't voted for... Okay, that's bad. So Surly leaves the park, he's a lone wolf, he's pissed off with everyone. While he contemplates his life decisions, he gets some glimpse of hope. Huh, this ain't so bad. <laughs> that was just so unnecessary. He skids off into an alley where Buddy jump scares him and then he whacks him with a spoon. No, 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 Buddy, 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 come on, snap out of it. What? This movie is actually funny. Like, maybe the comedy's not the best, but I'm having a good time. I love these bad, funny movies, man. Even though Surly and Buddy have a nice little moment, Surly is still filled with rage and walks away from Buddy. And then, uh, yeah. Dude, why is this even in the plot of the movie? He climbs up onto the roof where a big plant pop falls down from the sky. But wait. Is it? Yeah, it's Buddy. He's a rat. I mean, you saw that coming. Surly unleashes these pigeons from a cage, grabs onto one with one hand and Buddy with the other hand, but oh no! The pigeon falls and slams into a sign, which perfectly happens to be a... Gangnam Style? <laughs> did not expect that. But this movie did come out in 2014, so it does make sense. After many failed attempts, Surly and Buddy cannot figure out how to break into the nut store, but then a taxi pulls up. And out comes a man who's known as King, and out comes another man who is just really creepy. Hey, uh I want just to meet our new soul. So the men are planning to rob the bank that's across the street from them, but what is Surly and Buddy doing? Wow, oh, with the loot! <laughs> oh, say, oh, rats! What's his problem? Dog starts barking and one of the guys blows a dog whistle, but the creepy top hat man is like Hey, I'm not a dog, but this is kind of pissing me off <laughs> The guys go into the basement. Meanwhile, Andy is trying to go on a mission to look for food, but Grayson insists he has to come with her Grayson! Anyways, they fight the rabid rats and then Grayson uses his heroic skills to defend his lady from the rats. Hooray! Grayson's gone! And we'll never see him again. So it turns out Surly and Buddy are still inside just taking all the cheese from the mouse traps that apparently they can just get now. Anyway, Surly falls down. Going down. Then a woman called Lana walks in. Gee. Damn! She'll come in handy later. Okay, thanks, Groot. The dog goes nuts, chases Surly out of the store, and Buddy goes berserk as well. They run into Andy, and they try not to tell her about the nuts store, but the door eventually opens, so they run in and avoid the dog as well. <laughs> <laughs> but they stumble over each other and fall perfectly into... Yes! Yes! Yeah! They come up with a plan to steal all the nuts, but then out of nowhere... Girl with the voice of Lego Batman gets stuck and before Buddy can pull him out, Andy grabs Buddy and pushes him back and holds up the dog whistle. She makes him spill everything that's going on and gives him the dog whistle for a 50-50 split of the nuts. Deal. You hear that too? Okay, so the dog can talk now. If I don't get rid of you, they are gonna send me back to the pound. So the pug explains that she has to get rid of Surly or she will be sent back to the pound. New yeah. character unlocked. So the pug is now some sort of main character in this movie, but you'll learn more about her later. Hey boss, I'm gonna lick your face. We also see that Andy is stoked that she finally found food, so she goes off to tell the diarrhea raccoon and the rest of the park. The next day the park animals start to dig a hole to get the nuts underground, but uh oh. Oh no! <gasps> Grayson? 
Oh. Surly tells the park animals about his plan to get the nuts and while it switches over the bank robbers talking about their plan to replace the money bags in the safe with peanut bags. I do actually like really like this scene. It's like a good way to cut down the time of the movie while it switches from the bank robbers talking to Surly talking and it's perfectly cut in between. It's a great way to tell you about our sponsor. Yeah, I don't have one. <laughs> Nice. Anyways, Surly and Buddy have an explosive time. Wink, wink. Yeah, bomb goes off. Where the pug freaks out because the robbers are going to add the sender back to the pound. So the logical thing to do would be... That squirrel was trying to blow up the nut store. Surly isn't dead, okay? Calm down, you soppy twat. With the pug now not getting sent to the pounds, but the creepy man grabbing Surly... Surly makes a new plan using the trash can as cover because there's a hole in the bottom of it to sneak underground and dig into the nut shack once again. But one of the park guys says that Raccoon might not approve of this idea, then Surly flips out and gets on the roof and gets all depressed. When comes one of my favorite moments in this movie. Hey Surly, over here. Not trying to ruin this movie. Oh wait, it's already ruined. There is a real fan fiction of Buddy and Surly. So, I mean, one like and I'll read it. Also, if you want another reason to hate this movie, this red bird. So we find out that raccoon is evil. Oh wow, I didn't see that coming. And he's planning to sabotage Surly and take all his nuts. Ah. What are you up to, Mo? Okay, remember what you learned. So, Grayson's back. Hooray! And Surly goes to see what Mole's up to. Well, he finds out that Mole was trying to drown Surly. But instead of Surly being in the hole Mole was trying to drown, the golfers are still in there. <laughs> we get an inside shot of the two robbers, and then we hear this noise like something to do with water. So they're flooded with water, but then Surly goes to get the pug, which helps him get the golfers, and then they go to target down and get Mole. Why does this movie have so much lore? Do your worst. Go on. Puff <laughs> not the crap. A concrete pillar. A jar with a- Mole and Surly have a lovely chat, and then Surly goes over to tell the park animals what really happened, but of course, they don't believe him. They get mad at him, and even Buddy doesn't believe him. So off Surly goes, a lone wolf just on his own path. He sneaks in to get some nuts, but the pug interrupts him, bites on the nut peg, and sends them all flying to Nutville. I couldn't think of any more nut jokes. Surly goes to get the nuts and shabang! He gets caught. What are we gonna do with him, boss? Shut it. Grab me that blowtorch. Ah, uh, that's dark. What's that? Lana's back. I knew it, I told you. Thanks, Gru. I can always count on you. My nuts itch. Whoa. So Lana finds out about King's bank robbing mission and she is not too happy about it. But as King gets caught over by the other two robbers, Lana gets the pug to leave and then she notices that the pug is staring at someone. So she frees Surly, but right as Surly's about to leave, he gets jumped by the mutant rats. But what's that? No way! A raccoon! Human. Oh, the horror. Surly tells Raccoon. They'll get rid of you. They'll vote in new leader. How many leaders do you think this park can have? Three, two, one. Surly runs for it, while Raccoon chucks in the rats to go get him. The robbers start replacing the bags of money with nuts until the cart is gone. So King gets mad, kicks the cart to the side, and underneath the cart is... Maybe it was... Rats! He starts shooting all of the rats. But they all hide, and after five minutes of Grayson being a pussy, they escape out of nut lanterns. Soon after, Raccoon tells Andy that she should hop in the back of the car with the nuts. Yeah, nice plan. Hey, Raccoon, I'm so sorry that I didn't trust you. Raccoon! Right when Andy said she's sure- Whoa. Right when Andy said that she was sorry for doubting Raccoon, Raccoon's just like, suck my nuts! Out of nowhere, Surly and Grayson just fly down from pigeons that were seen earlier in the movie. And one of the robbers is super pumped, so he goes to get a look at the moolah and then realizes what not but not this movie just gets crazier and crazier stick around to the end of the movie you won't regret it broski so the dumber robbers realize that they've been duped by king and uh they turn a different way to the other guys and the other guys just freak out and go nuts gotcha again you're so gullible but also this movie actually makes a good joke 
<laughs> yeah, it was actually pretty funny. So Surly and Grayson just break open the door, like somehow it's just not showing. And right then, the unthinkable happens. Doors open. We can push the nuts out. <laughs> Raccoon turns into a corpse husband and chokes Surly, but right as that's happening, Surly decides to actually do something heroic. Help me throw him off before he kills us all. Kill us? This squirrel is a hero. Well, co-hero actually. Way to ruin the moment, Grayson. More things happen. The park animals vote to banish Raccoon and finally stop agreeing with him. So Raccoon goes nuts. Yeets Surly out of the car and he basically just lands safely because he grabbed onto a bag of nuts. But right as Raccoon's about to leave, he grabs the dog whistle that Surly was carrying around with him the whole time. So remember that because that will make sense soon. <laughs> the police gets involved and follows the robbers while they drive over a bridge the popo are waiting for them on the other side. The cars will come to halts and Andy gets flattened by a bag of nuts or money, whatever was in that bag. Surly was actually on the police car the whole time, so he gets off and goes off to find everyone. Well, King pulls a gun on the dumb robbers. I'm just gonna call them dumb robbers because I don't know their names. He also moves the bags of money into the other car where the nuts originally were. But Andy is still knocked out in the car that had the money in, so Surly goes over to check on him. But also the... Yeah, that guy's there. Yeah, that guy just somehow has dynamite and light it sends the car off Could have picked her up and jumped out, but he was just like, I am a squirrel and I need to get her out of here, but there's nothing I can do except look left and right. Oh, no! So Surly fails to use common sense and waits for the car to blow up. Then he turns into Tom Cruise and jumps like a hundred feet into the air. King tries to drive away, but the bridge crumbles and he falls off the edge of a waterfall. Surly is also there with the car on one side of the log and he stands on the other side. He uses a stick to move the log and then push Surly but oh my god what what is this movie raccoon jumps out with the dog whistle in his hand he's about to kill surly but then a bag of nuts falls from the sky and knocks him out what were the writers on when they were making this movie every drug at once uh yeah i think so surly is shocked he looks up to see where it came from and Oh my god, Buddy is back. Also, the dog whistle just lands perfectly in his hands, but I've seen too much of this movie to care anymore. Ah, the shiny! Give it to me! <gasps> Hooray, Raccoon and a dead! The log starts to snap and then huzzah! <laughs> Not too fast. This mother nutter raccoon just can't die. So he grabs onto Surly and Andy notices so she gets everyone to help. Surly goes down with me. Buddy, that was some score. We almost pulled it off, didn't we? Surly, don't you dare let go. I'm sorry, Andy. What? Surly, no! <laughs> oh, oh, man. I love this movie so much. <laughs> I gotta say, that was pretty dramatic. Like, I felt some sort of emotion there. You know, so that's something. The park animals drift away on a log and make it back to the park where Grayson is still a dumbass. No touching. And Lana gets King arrested and breaks up with him as well. But everyone is just so sad that Surly's gone, even though they hated him throughout the whole entire movie. But at least I can understand Buddy's pain. Come with me. He's back, he's back, I can't believe it. I love nuts! Surly's back, I guess, like, who cares? So Surly is actually alive. He wakes up and he has this emotional hug with Buddy. The fanfic writers go nuts. Also, I never noticed this when I watched this the first time, but Buddy actually talks. Best friend. Surly and Buddy go off to get more food for the park. And the movie comes to a beautiful end. Oh wait, there's a sequel. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see another video, then click right here where I looked at the weirdest things on AliExpress. And if you really want me to make a sequel on the second movie, then give this video a like, subscribe, leave a comment. You know, just go nuts. I got you again. You're so gullible, man. Bye!